Hi guys, today I'm showing you what me, Phil, Sue, and Crouching Tuna were doing yesterday. We have been running all the mirroring ultimatums. Uh, a crafter friend of ours is providing the um, base mirror tier items. Uh, one of the best deck stacking bow in the league, the best uh, int stacking one in the league, and um, the best fizz bow in the league. Uh, and uh, basically, our builds are so strong that there is no way we can fail one. The only way we can fill one is if we crash. Uh, we ran over 50 ultimatums yesterday, trying to get the m worst possible mods. We were running 8 exalts ultimatums, we were running uh, headhunters ultimatums, we ran like 5 mirror services. Uh, people were uh, paying us to run their, uh, like for the service of mirroring their items. Uh, we get like 15x fee every time. Uh, as you can see, uh, we got this bow. Uh, it drops um, the actual item that we put back in, which is this one, and the other one will be with a mirror tag. It's exactly as using a mirror on, of an item, but it's way cheaper. Uh, the only downside is, it's, is that it's really risky to do this, but if you have a good enough build, you can make a huge profit margin because the um, ultimatums are worth like 70, 80x, while uh, a mirror is like 200, 210, so you can see there's like a huge gap that you can make profit in. Uh, so even for 15x uh, tip for every service, it's really worth it for the owner of the item for uh, to do this. Uh, the owner of these items is one of our friends, so I don't think uh, it will give them to other people uh, and trust other people with them. But yeah, I, I known this guy for like two or three years. Um, as you can see, we did the, the wand as well. This is a T1 Lightning. It's not an Essence. It's actual T1 Lightning. It's really low weight. Uh, it's a int stacking mod, and it has the spell damage per int. These are the three best prefixes for a um, int stacking wand. And then it has attack speed, crit sense quality, which increases the attack speed and the uh, elemental DPS of the wand because of the quality and also the base crit sense and the crit multi with a rare or unique item nearby. Probably double damage would be slightly better, but Krimut is pretty good as well because you're all, almost always near a rare or unique enemy. The two important stats are attack speed and crit as a suffix, though. I'm going to show you the ultimatum we're running. Um, we can do any mods, uh, but we take different approaches depending on the mods that we're getting. For example, if we only have ru normal ruin, we can just stand still and just kill all the mobs really quick before they can even hit us. The only problem is talking Ruin. Uh, if there is talking Ruin, we split into two groups, me and Tunam, which is the Orabot, uh, sorry, me, that I'm the Orabot, and Tuna, which is the carry. We keep running all around the ultimatum. We never stop because the ghosts are really slow. And as long as we don't get hit, we are not going to fail the ultimatum. And... Uh, the ruin stacks can only be applied on the owner of the ultimatum, which is Tuna. He's putting them all in. So what um, Filsu can do is a mana guardian is really tanky. What he's going to do is he's going to stand on the stone circles or like, yeah, as you can see, we just dropped the wand and the mirror copy. That was the mirrored one and then the original copy on the ground as well. Let's go to the next one. But yeah, uh, the next one is uh, the best Fizz bow uh, in the market right now. It's 760 PDPS. The second best one is the one I own. It's like around 650. And uh, let's see how we do this one. Um, these were the first ones that we did. So we tried to do the easiest ones. There are other harder uh, ultimatums we can do. But even the hardest possible ultimatums we could think of, we just did them, like, all of them really easy. We tried a lot of 8 exalts ultimatums. We tried Headhunters ultimatums. The profit margins are not the best. I don't know why people are listing um, the exalt and Headhunter ultimatums for, like, like really low profit margins. It's, like, not even 10%. When you're taking a huge risk uh, of, like... For example, yesterday we ran a Headhunter ultimatum the total cost was 132 exalts and you get back 137 so it's like a 5x profit but you're you're risking 132 so i don't know if it's actually worth it for like only 5x profit and also you have to wait and sell the items 
but for the mirroring one if you have good enough items it's insane because there's like a huge profit margin like 140 exalts on one run as you can see we just we just got the bow uh all of these are pretty easy uh you don't see us running around because they didn't have stock in ruin but all of the other map mods are still as easy we just um change our approach the strategy we um my build as always permanent val grace up we're not really getting hit by anything too nice uh cap blocked and spell uh, bl uh sorry block capped and spell block capped uh in this one we're moving a little bit because there's ruin but on most of the other ones we can just stand still our characters are way too tanky to die it's nearly impossible if there is stone circles uh we just tell phil Sue to go in the stone circles and we just keep doing this um if you want to check us live you can check crouching tuna's channel we're like playing pretty much every day and uh, as you can see we mirrored another one we can pr we're playing pretty much every day and um uh see you in the next video see you guys